Mars 84 or Relax 84. Always leave it in our mind. And finally, we're back with this. And the last 12 episodes that we were just that you guys watched, uh, yeah, those were pre-recorded in like four days. They were all in the summer, and I am a few months into I am five weeks into six weeks into school now. So, yeah, you can tell I haven't been on this for a while. So I just had to kind of book this show. Okay, yeah, small, traditional. Let's go traditional, good. Try state, and then let's go to huge. There's like no one's huge, but like a lot with the good. All right, um, and also I have Windows 10, just, I don't like it that much. We're gonna get a Pablo, Pablo, sister. No, we're gonna get a Mechano. Sorry, I like looking at these things. We're gonna get a Rebel Casino. We're gonna go to Casino. Hold on, actually, before we do anything, we're gonna go to book and screen. No. Okay, you guys cannot see this real fast. Overview, overview. There we go. Pop up, I need this. There we go. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna rename this guy Samurai de la Soul. Alright, that's his name. Or Samurai. Samurai. I'm gonna select him, character details, and name him Kalisto, which is he is, which he is part of. In the WWE, so yeah. Cool. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's him. I think that you spell it. Hopefully. So yeah. Yep. Save. Close. All right. Anyways, ready? You guys can't see these. Let's get into the show. All right. Right. Titus versus Abyss. Right. Titus defeated Abyss in 1738 by pinfall with a frog splash. He got a B minus. It is being held in front of 3,636 people and Rebel Stadium and being taped for television. Unfortunately, this content had to attend with the restless crowd. That is fine. Gail Kim challenges Dolores Guy to a match in order to get to say what to get it, and she says she'll put her titles. On. Oh no, wrong way. So it's she. She says she'll put it on the. Asked to put the title online. Anyways, then, well, she's not here, but Amazing Kong comes out and say, I want the match too. Velo Sky comes out, then, Bella, then Amazing Kong comes in and says, I want the match too. And then the match get a, a C plus. Velo Sky defeated Mickey James and Amazing Kong in 9 minutes and 50 seconds. So Velo Sky defeated Mickey James by pinfall with a Ratatalali ton. I think he pronounced it. Velo Sky is making defense number one of retaining knockouts title. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I made a new title. It's called the Universal title. Universal. I think, yeah. Bill this guy was visibly tired. You don't have no stamina at all. The color, color commentary mag game match because Velt Sky is improving technical skills. Velt Sky is improving performance skills. That's got a C plus. That's not bad. And then a B. Shell Benjamin defeated James Storm in 11 minutes and 5 seconds by pinning both a handful of tights. Unfortunately, this match came up the rest of crowd. Anyways, that's good. Good job, guys. Nice job. Next. And a C. Jack Evans has an interview in which he taunts Manic. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to say any of this. He's like, yeah, boy. I've been here. He's like, I've been. He's like, I've been beating people left and right. I'm, I'm gonna beat you for the title at the next pay per view, which is I don't know what it's gonna be. And then yeah, so anyways, this can't be like let down. Uh, the exhibition title feud has continued the storyline. He's like, I'm gonna beat you. You know, don't worry about it. I'm gonna beat the little people out of you. That's gotta see. Not bad. Not bad. Bully Ray defeated him stern it's in an 8 minutes and 9 seconds by pinfall with a bully bomb. There are no specific comments made about this match. Good job, guys. John Morris defeated Gunner in 1733 by pinfall with a starship pain. There are no specific comments made about this match. Anyways, so Taz and Mike Tenet have the upcoming match between Kalisto and Sima from the comfort of their announce table. So they're like this. Anyways, guys, here is the first universal title match ever in TNA. Anyways, I was... By the way, this would um I built I built Universal wrong there, but this is gonna be like a hardcore title where it's the twenty four seven rule where you can yeah you have to defend it no matter what every week at least. The same that suffered as King Cross was let down from after previous segment. Taz came across well. Mike today performed up poorly in this segment. The Universal title feud has continued with the storyline with this this segment. Taz building performance skills. So is Mike today, and he is learning how to show some charisma. Good a B. Kalisto defeated Sima in 9 minutes and 35 seconds by pinfall with the Rising Sun. Kalisto wins the TNA Universal title. So, yeah, that's good. And he, they defend it every week. That's a B. And then Samoa Joe and John Morrison are seen backstage. And then well, they're kind of like having to stare down. And then Samoa Joe's like, 
And then he kind of points at his title, the national title, and then John Morrison says, and John Morrison says, I'm coming after that. And then they kind of get an argument, like, no, you're not, this, that, and this, you know. Yeah. Okay, next. It's an A. Holy jeez. <laughs> All right. The bad influence defeated Motor City Machine Guns in 7 minutes and 54 seconds when Kazarian defeated Alex Shelley by pinball to fade to black. Good job, guys. An A. That's amazing. The tag total feud has continued with the storyline match of the girl Christopher Daniels improving in promo skills. God, Christopher, you're like 42 years old. You're so improving. Austin here is Bob Roode. Ambush Christopher Daniels and leave him lying. So he's he comes backstage. Uh, Kazarian had to go do something. He he's gonna go use the bathroom in the locker room and whatever. And then Christopher Daniels kind of excited, like, yeah, man. And then Bobby Roode and them turn the corner, and then he looks behind them, and then he just gets ambushed, and he just gets sat. He just get he just gets demolished by them, and they yeah. Just then it came across the lead down. The same with Benefit of Griffin Hawk. I tagged all the few seconds into this right line. And then B plus Jeff Hardy has an interview which he taunts AJ Styles like I'm gonna do his ability to awesome to skin AJ. He's like AJ Styles, you're not as good as me. You never will. I, I guess I am the franchise. You're not. AJ Styles, you have nothing on me. You 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 had to go against Manic in the last. You had to go against the X Division title. Well, what is this? Like you're not that. Like, you you think you're better than me? I am a world champion. I have won this world champion multiple times. I am the best, it's the best thing this company has. He's been, he's kind of being a little bit cocky. And then, and A, Jeff Hardy defeated Petty Williams in 11.56 seconds by, with a swanton bomb. So, in the last segment, he's like, yeah, I'm going to go out there and kick over. I'm going to have an open challenge. and kick their asses whoever they are. Their buttholes. And then, I'm going to rip him a new one. And he ripped Petty Williams a new one. Anyways, yeah, this is held in by 3,000 people. That's really good. End of show. Did we get a B plus? Your show can be considered success. It should have increased our popularity. All right, good, good, good. Anyways, anyways, guys, I'll see you at the main title screen. See that? All right, guys, welcome back to the main title screen. Anyways, this is 37. Darren Young. Oh, Darren Young contracts ending. I was trying to drive to Drew McIntyre, Drew Galloway. He don't think it would be a good career move, and uh, he doesn't extend his deal at WWE. Okay. Other records, though. Come on. Jay Lethal. Ah, no, I'm not going to sign him yet. Promotion. Okay. Business for Nats. That's what we're losing all our money on. So far, we've made $2,000. We just lost $96,000 and $6,000 in the last two months. So, $137,000, $89,045. Okay, so far we're making a little bit of profit, but history. Anyways, oh yeah, and the reason why Kalisto, not Kalisto, um, Ricochet and what's his name's not getting up, and Jack Evans is because it's a traditional brand, and they do not, no, like, they don't really like high st high flyers, so they like more ground and pound people. The technician and source tag title feud is over the top right now. Oh, I thought it would be better, but knockout title feud and the world title feud's heating up, and so uh, is the um yeah. The next vision's gonna go down. What do you expect? Teams bad influence is just doing amazing. 3D here, and then gonna be the Moda City Machine Guns. And then yeah, here's them. I don't think they work good, so I'll delete. Here you go. We only have four teams. Yeah, sad, isn't it? Anyways, so yeah, I'm just like really, really calm down right now. Just kind of laying, I'm about to lay down. Actually, I'm about to get some schoolwork done and then lay down. Yeah. Oh no, I should check those things out. Oh, why did you? Why did you extend the deal? See if anyone has died yet. No offense, anyone. Just workers' death. Oh, Max Payne passes away. Let's check what he has. Other workers. Other workers. Max Payne. He wrestled in WC. All right, yeah, and he was kind of old. All right, yeah, that's unfortunate. Other promotions overview. Promotion diary. So I like just looking at this. Okay. Rockstar Spud can negotiate for three more days. New T V schedule was announced. Promotion schedule. And I didn't think oh yeah, I changed all these to that. 
All right, TNA battles. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to media, other workers, camera around. Yeah, here we go. Dead T, favorite carriers. Where is it? Filter. Size, Tawny. I think you will soy. And go request negotiations. Yep. Anyways, other. Alright, yeah. Anyways, guys. That's our city for Orion City for you guys now. I honestly appreciate you guys for watching. Bye, guys.